Good morning, class. Today's an awesome day called Earth Day. It's Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020, and it's Earth Day today. So try to be good to the earth today. Maybe you clean up some trash outside or recycle or use less of something. Make it a great day. If you guys can get out page 244 and 245 in your red workbook with the rip out pages, or this is also on the Dropbox. So let's read the top here. It says, an abbreviation is a short way of writing a word. Most abbreviations end with a period. So instead of always writing out Saturday, which is pretty long, you can write S-A-T period. And instead of always writing September, you can write S-E-P-T period. Okay. So Monday abbreviation is capital M O N period. February is going to be capital F E B period. August is going to be capital A U G Og. <laughs> now for road you skip the middle two letters. So road is gonna be R, D, period. Thursday is gonna be T, H, period. March is going to be capital M, A, R, period. November is going to be capital N, O, V, period. October is capital O, C, T, period. Oct. Doctor. Now, doctor, you skip those four letters in the middle. Doctor's going to be D, R, period. And January is going to be capital J, A, N, period. Okay, let's flip it over. Okay, class, so let's go over our OR sound. So OR can make the OR sound, ORE can make the OR sound, and OAR can make the OR sound. So let's read these words. Ready? CH, OR, CHORE, P, OR, CH, PORCH, SP, OR, T, SPORT. Er or roar. Ad or adore. Number one. Baseball is a fun blank. Baseball is a fun chore? No. Fun porch? No. Fun sport? Yes. S P O R T. Number two. Taking out the trash is my blank. Is my chore? C-H-O-R-E, chore. You guys hear that little birdie in my house? Just kidding, it's not a bird. My spa needs new batteries for my smoke detector. That's very important. So after these videos, I will change my smoke detector battery. Number three, Max and Bev blank puppies. Max and Bev porch puppies, roar puppies, or adore. Adore. Adore means like love. A D O R E. Number four. We meet on the blank every night. We meet on the porch every night or we meet on the roar every night. Porch. P O R C H. Then when we have one word left, roar, let's make sure it makes sense. Did you hear the lion roar? That makes sense, right? R O A R. Corn. Or, or, or. O A R makes the or sound. O R makes the or sound. O R E makes the or sound. Say corn or corn. Okay, let's read these words together. Ready? A corn. A door. Born, bored, core, corn. 
dorm, form, fort, glory, morning, north, story, yourself, adore, before, bore, core, for, lore, more, nor, or, poor, roar, store, war, your. Okay, if you guys want to pause the video, you can practice these on your own. Next, we're going to do time to the half hour on an analog clock. So this is page 601, 602, 603, and 604. All right, the essential question says, how do I determine length and time? I'm all worn out. Trace the hour hand with red. Now, if you guys don't have red or blue, it's fine, just trace it with your pencil, okay? So I found a red and blue, so my hour hand's the short one, so I'm gonna trace that with red. And then my minute hand's gonna be in blue. And this time is, it's almost to the 11, but it's not at the 11 yet. So this would still be considered 10. And then you start up here, and we're gonna count by fives, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? So the time is 10.30. Let's just write that down in this empty spot right here, 10.30. So another way to say that, remember, because this is like, if this would be half of the clock, You'd say it's half past 10, half past 10, okay? So here's my clock. So it's 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it's half past 10, okay? All right, turn it over. An analog clock can show time to the half hour. A half hour is 30 minutes. Okay, so right here it is 4.30, okay, see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so it's 4.30. So even if the hour hand is between the 4 and the 5, it's still considered to be 4, okay? So it's half past 4 or 4.30. Okay, so number one. So let's look where this, this hour hand is. Is it to the 10 yet? Yes or no? No. So it's still nine, okay? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, remember? So it's half past nine. Okay, number two. Let's look where the hour hand is. Is it to the two yet? No. So it's still considered to be one. So it's half past one or 1.30. Okay, so let's look at this one. Is it to the seven yet? Is the hour hand to the seven? No. So this one would be half past six, okay? The hour hand is not to the four yet, so it's still considered to be three. So this would be half past three. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> okay, this one you guys are gonna do on your own read what the doggy says. What do you get when you cross a dog with a clock? A watchdog. <laughs> it's a knee flapper, you guys. Okay, turn it over to the word problems. Number 13. Jen's class is leaving for a field trip to the zoo at 10 o'clock. The class arrives at the zoo 30 minutes later. What time do they arrive at the zoo? So 10 o'clock with 30 minutes after, so 10 o'clock with 30 minutes after would be half past 10, right? 10.30, half past 10, oops. Okay, half past 10. Okay, number 14, Nate will go to football practice at half past four. Show this time on the clock. If practice lasts one hour, what time will it end? Write the time. 
Okay, so his practice starts. Oh, this ball has a squeaky clock, you guys. <laughs> okay, so 4.30 is half past 4, okay? Um, so one hour later, okay? So if you go up here, that's five, that's a, that's a half hour, okay? And then a half hour later would be 5.30 or half past five. And for this one, they want us to show us the clock hands. So put the, put the short hand between the five and the six and the long minute hand down at the six half past five. Okay, let's do our right math. What is one difference between the minute hand and the hour hand? What do you guys notice between the hour hand and the minute hand? Now, clocks in real life aren't always colored, so besides the color, what can you guys see? Well, Miss Boss sees that the hour hand is what? Shorter than the minute hand. The minute hand's longer, okay? The hour hand is shorter than the minute hand. The hour hand is shorter than the minute hand. The Thankful Book by Todd Parr. Every day I try to think about the things I am thankful for. I am thankful for my hair because it makes me unique. I am thankful for my ears because they let me hear words like, I love you. Tweet, tweet. I am thankful for my garden because I like to watch things grow. I am thankful for my shadow because it makes me look taller. I am thankful for bubble baths because they keep me squeaky clean. I am thankful for underwear because I like to wear it on my head. That's a silly one, right? I am thankful for my friends because they make me smile. I am thankful for my pets because they keep me warm. I am thankful for vacations because I get to see new people and places. I am thankful for walks because they are special times for just you and me. I am thankful for my hands because they give me special gifts. I am thankful for my feet because they help me run and play. I am thankful for music because it makes me want to dance. Me too. I am thankful for colors because they make me want to paint. I am thankful for school because I love to learn new things. I am thankful for the library because it is filled with endless adventures. I 
I am thankful for healthy food because it keeps me strong. That's a big carrot, huh? I am thankful for the fall because I like to jump in the leaves. I am thankful for the winter because I like to build snowmen. I am thankful for hugs because they make me feel good. I am thankful for kisses because they make me feel loved. I am thankful for holidays because they bring my family together. Okay, you guys ready? Let's read this one together. There are lots of things to be thankful for. Try to remember some of them every day. The end. Love, Todd. Who's Todd? That's the author and illustrator. What are you guys thankful for? Think about something that you're thankful for today. Maybe it's school, maybe it's the library, maybe it's food, maybe it's the holiday, your family, so many wonderful things. Maybe it's a good friend, a pet. Underwear. <laughs> Bubble baths. Lots of things to be thankful for. Don't you guys love these colorful illustrations? Okay, guys, have a great day. Miss you.